Hi guys, back for another episode of our Cloud Saving Tower Defense series. If you haven't watched the last episode, you should go and watch it because you won't have this awesome title screen with this mini game where you have to pop the balloons that you all know I am, that I absolutely suck at and I just end up adjusting them. So anyway, in this episode, we're going to be making the sign up button. I know I promised it would be cloud saving, so we're starting on it right now. So what you just want to do first is you're just going to want to make a quick button here. Just make it about this size. And just say sign up. Your button can look like whatever you want, but mine is just going to be simple white with a few balloons on it. Because as you know, this is kind of a balloons tower defense game. If you've watched the first episode. Here we are. Got all the balloons. So now I'm just going to put in sign up. There we go. Scripts. Events. When Flake clicked motion. Go to here. So right now we're going to be getting into some pretty heavy coding. So if you're a newer user, this might take a while, but don't be like super worried or anything because it's going to be pretty easy for you. So we're just going to put when this break clicked, sensing, ask, what's your username? name and then what we're going to do is control repeat sensing operators will drag out length of answer so you can see now well not quite yet and now we're going to make some two lists this one is going to be numbers okay and this one is going to be letters Okay, so your name can be only made up of letters and the system will translate the letters into numbers. So we're just going to go right here and repeat 26 times data add. We're going to make a variable called length and we're going to do add length of letter length of data and we'll type in the alphabet a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and z then what we're going to do here data change length by one and i just completely forgot how long the alphabet is so we're going to have to test it out there we go, works. Delete all of letters and set length to zero when the flag is clicked. So now you can see the system will repeat. And what we want to do here is repeat nine times. Data add length to numbers. Okay, change length by one. Then change length by one and we want to repeat another nine times, change length by one, add length to numbers. Then what we're going to want to do is duplicate this and repeat it. Let's see here. We're going to want to repeat this eight more times. Okay. So I'm just going to have to check it out because I'm pretty sure my math is right. That should equal 26, but if you want it to be exactly on, you should probably just enter it into the program. Yeah, it's exactly 26. So what we're going to see is now it generates a list of numbers, but as you can see, none of them have zeros. That's good because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our program, but zeros are kind of going to be signifying like the end of the user account and the start of the user account. So that's good that our List doesn't have any zeros. If yours does, you should probably go back 
and just rewatch the video. What we're going to do here is control repeat until data and we'll set length to zero. Repeat until operators equals data length equals 26. Actually, 20. Actually, we'll drag out a greater than. Length is greater than 26. And then we'll drag out an or. Let's see here. Operators equals letter and we're going to make a new variable here we're going to call it select I probably didn't spell select that right there so uh, whatever select of answer where is answer equals data item length of numbers. Actually, do we even need the, oh yeah, right, letter select of answer equals item length of letters, okay? That is true. Yes, because our length is 28. And then we'll change length by one. We'll set select to zero. Change select by one here. And we'll make a new variable. User name calculate. And I kind of messed up here. What's supposed to be length of letters. And then replace item one. Well, actually set username calculate to operators join data username calculate. And item length of numbers this time. And we're going to be setting length to zero each time this goes around. And then we will set username calculate to backspace here so that it's just your username. And now let's test it out. So if you type in your username and it comes out good like that, that's what you want to see. But what we're going to do here, we're going to do if then length is greater than 26, say you did not use proper characters, please input another name. And then we'll put an exclamation point at the end. Wait for five seconds and we will do stop this script. So now let's test it out. Sign up. Damon. There we go. But what will happen if you put in a name like 333, you'll get the message. You did not use proper characters. I'll make that plural because it is not. Please input another name. And then the user will have to go back up and retry putting in their name because they put in an incompatible name here. And probably in a few more episodes, we are going to be doing a bit of like checkup kind of, we're going to be adding another repeat loop and it's going to be checking our save data to see if um, 
well, if someone else has entered the same username, so there can't be two of the same usernames in the game, and it won't screw up someone's account. So yeah, we'll be doing that in a few episodes once we have the saved data length, like the length in between each of the names. It's pretty complicated, so we'll stick to that in a few episodes. But now we're going to create a cloud variable. If you haven't been in Scratch for over three months, well, that's what I think it is anyway, you can't really do these. So if you haven't, you should probably wait until you've been in Scratch for three months and these are unable to do it. But if you have, well, then that's all good. We're going to make it save. Okay. And as you see, I got my cloud variable. Then what we're going to do is set saves to operators, join data saves and username calculate. Okay, so now what happens when I log in with sign up with Damon, then you'll see that it will load my name and then you get your saves, but the saves have to be set to backspace. So I'll just set my saves to that. Then I'll type in my name again. And as you can see, this time it actually worked out. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Once we kind of figure out how many digits are going to be in our save code, we are going to work on that. But that's it for now. Like and subscribe.